on Becoming an Ichthyologist by Katie Wright. Growing up, I spent many weekends at my grandparents' cabin located in the Blue Ridge Mountains, hiking and fishing. The cabin doesn't have cable, internet, or cell phone service, so I was completely submerged in nature. This allowed me to learn to love the wilderness and the creatures that live in it. I have always loved the ocean too. My parents loved to tell the story of how when I was younger, I would stand at the edge of the ocean and dance with the waves. The ocean mesmerizes me, intrigues me, the vast possibilities that lie within it. Ever since I can remember, marine animals have always caught my interest, motivating me to want to major in marine biology, which Virginia Tech does not have. So what was I going to major in? After coming to Tech as university studies, I finally made the decision to major in wildlife conservation. Fish are considered wildlife along with herps, birds, bats, and mammals. In one of my wildlife classes, we had a fisheries unit in which we went electro fishing and I ended up loving it. This encouraged me to go attend the Coastal Marine Education and Research Academy for a few weeks one summer, in which we caught and tagged sharks, rays, and skates. I had never met a group of people that enjoyed just quietly watching videos of fish for hours on end just as much as I did. This is the moment that I fell in love with sharks, and fish for that matter. They are such docile and beautiful creatures that people are afraid of for some reason. Therefore, I decided I want to double a major in marine fisheries to promote the conservation of marine animals. Fisheries techniques just made me even more curious about fish. It created more passion and made me want to continue learning. Unfortunately, in an odd circumstance due to my double majors in wildlife and fisheries, my course schedule only allowed for me to take both my senior capstone courses my junior year. This was not an issue for wildlife because I had already taken most of the courses necessary to fully compile my understanding into a 75-page wildlife management plan for the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries. On the other hand, I was just starting down the road of fisheries, only having taken one or two courses prior. I was clearly the youngest and the newest at the whole fisheries thing, not knowing how to identify most fish. Everybody in my class had already taken ichthyology and knew exactly what they wanted to do after graduation. Therefore, I sat there in class, quiet as a mouse, just listening to what everyone had to say because I was too intimidated to speak up against my knowledgeable peers. As the class went on, I started making new friends that helped me understand what was actually going on. I became more comfortable in speaking during class and having fun while doing it. The end of the semester was bittersweet. My new friends were graduating and there would be no more parties at Dr. Murphy's house, but I was finally able to talk about fish comfortably and had made many new connections for years to come. Now taking ichthyology a year later, I am even more confident about my fish identification skills and what I would like to do after graduation. After attending the University of Miami in the fall of 2016, I will hopefully be attending graduate school there to specialize in either marine mammal or shark conservation. And that is how I became an ichthyologist.